How much do you bench, bruh? Word. Come join us now for a look into functional strength with buff dudes from a time long ago. The chest is typically used in any kind of pushing motion. But, as we see here, this musically minded cave dude has utilized the pectoralis major for arm adduction. How curious. The pectoralis major can be separated into two heads, the clavicular head and the sternocostal head, and is a large flat-shaped muscle that fans out from the insertion point on the humerus and originates on the clavicle and sternum. The pectoralis minor is a small triangle-shaped muscle that is hidden away under the pec major and helps stabilize the scapula. The movement of the clavicle head flexes the arm at the shoulder, while the sternocostal head extends the arm at the shoulder joint from a flex position. As a whole, the movements of the pectoralis major are medial rotation of the humerus and adduction. The major motion in the chest is a pushing motion, but the secondary motion is bringing the arm inward to the body. Thy function has been surpassed by the need of presence in the modern day of society. And thy self-worth is measured by being able to perform a sweet peck bounce. First exercise on this list is going to be the bench press. The number one exercise that you can perform to build that front shield. You can be walking around like you have body armor on if you perform this correctly. So what you wanna do is lie flat on a bench. You're gonna be grabbing that barbell just about shoulder width apart. Now what you wanna do is really contract and retract those shoulders back. So that way it's gonna bring that chest up. You can depress the shoulders as well so they're downward. And this is gonna put a lot more stress on that chest throughout the duration of the exercise. The front delt is going to be working somewhat as well as the tricep, but only as a secondary muscle group. So make sure you have a little bit of small arch in the lower back. The hips are firmly placed into the bench and feet flat on the floor. So now you're going to be taking that bar down to the sternum area, keeping your elbows about a 45 degree angle to your body. Bring it all the way down, touch the sternum, and then press upward in a nice quick motion and get a nice squeeze at the top position. Doing it this way is going to make sure you can track that chest properly throughout the duration of the exercise and build that front shield properly, just like a buff dude. On to the second exercise. This is gonna be the incline press, another big compound movement for the pectoralis major. But in this exercise, you're actually focusing on the clavicular portion of the pectoralis major, where the fibers are actually connecting to the clavicle right here. So if you want that nice cleavage for those tank tops, those V-necks, this is the exercise for you. So what you wanna do is you're actually gonna be laying back on an incline bench about a 45 degree angle. You're gonna be taking the same positioning as you would on a flat press. Really retract those shoulders and depress them backwards so that brings the chest up. You're gonna be bringing that bar down, but instead of this time to the sternum, you're actually bringing it down to the clavicle. So bring it down, getting a nice stretch in the chest, and then pressing it up to the top position, getting a nice squeeze. So if you want that cleavage, well, make sure you do these incline presses. Moving on to exercise three on the list, and it's gonna be dips. And since we're doing chest today, this is gonna be the chest dip. And there is variations. You can either do triceps or chest. So obviously in this instance, we're gonna be focusing on the chest. But hey, what's the difference between the two, you ask? We're about to explain. So with this one, you wanna be leaning forward in this exercise, taking the dip bar about shoulder width apart. And with this, instead of keeping the elbows tight, you're actually gonna be letting them flare out of the body. And since you're leaning forward, you're gonna be getting more of a pressing motion through the chest. It's really focusing on those lower fibers of the chest, developing that nice full look in there. And what you gotta focus on is bring your body all the way down past a 90 degree angle in the lower and upper arm. So you get a nice stretch in the chest, be pressing up, to the top position, but instead of the top position being a full lockout, it's actually gonna be stopping about three quarters of the way up. So that way you're focusing on that time under tension. Remember that King Tut, T-U-T? That's it, time under tension. Number four on the list is gonna be the flat bench dumbbell fly, a perfect exercise to help isolate the chest. Now the front delt is gonna be working out a little bit in this, but for the most part, it's just gonna be working in the pectoralis major. So what you wanna do in this exercise is the elbows are gonna be slightly bent, but stationary. And it's only going to be working in that shoulder joint. Instead of working two joints as a compound, this is an isolation, so it's only gonna be working that one joint, which is gonna be the shoulder joint. So what you wanna do is bring those dumbbells out really far, getting that nice stretch in the chest. You're gonna feel it as you bring it down, and then you're gonna track the chest, bring it to the top position. And this is adducting inward to the middle line of the body. 
one of the major movements of the chest. But instead of coming all the way up and clinging the dumbbells together, stop about 10 inches or so apart to keep that time under tension, that tension on the chest throughout the duration of this exercise. So make sure you're nice and flat on the bench, a little bit of arch in the lower back, natural arch in the lumbar. You want those hips nice and tight to the bench, feet flat on the floor, and you're gonna rep it out from there. Last on the list is going to be the incline dumbbell fly. So this exercise is very similar to the flat bench dumbbell fly, but obviously as the name explains, it's going to be on an incline bench. The incline is gonna be around a 45 degree angle to help with activating the clavicular portion of the chest. Now, the clavicular portion of the chest is a little bit more difficult to build because there's not as many fibers, they're hard to build, so the lower portion of the chest is gonna build a little bit more quicker and thicker. So you wanna make sure you pay close attention to building that upper chest, and this one's gonna help with that by isolating it. If you want a muscle to build a little bit quicker, you do want to include these isolation exercises into any program. So with this one, get on that incline bench. You can be a slight bend in the elbows. You're going to start with those dumbbells right in line with the shoulders. You can bring it out nice and wide, getting that stretch, and then you can bring it to the center line of the body, adducting inward. Again, you're just using that shoulder joint throughout the duration of the exercise to isolate that chest. So take it nice and slow and controlled and keep that time under tension throughout the duration of the exercise. And that's when you're gonna build that buck dude-sized chest. Oh yeah.